When comparing infantry fighting vehicles built in Europe, two prominent names that come to mind are Sweden's CV-90 and Germany's Martyr. Both IFVs have seen extensive service with their respective countries and other operators around the world. These IFVs have undergone several upgrades and modernizations over the years to stay effective in modern warfare. Although there are some similarities between the two vehicles, their design, capabilities, and performance exhibit notable differences. In this comparison, we'll take a closer look at the CV-90 and Martyr and examine their strengths and weaknesses to determine which IFV is better for European war theater. Before we dive into the specifics, make sure you tap the subscribe button and have post notifications on so you don't miss any future episodes. The latest variant of the CV-90 is a fifth-generation IFV designed by BAE Systems for the Swedish Army. The IFV was designed to operate efficiently in the sub-Arctic climate of the Nordic region, providing excellent mobility in snowy and wetland terrains. The vehicle entered service in 1993, and since then it has been sold to several countries including Norway, Finland, Switzerland, Denmark, Estonia, and the Netherlands. The current variant, CV-90 Mark IV, is highly modular, which can perform roles ranging from troop transport to anti-aircraft and anti-tank warfare. The IFV can accommodate a crew of three and transport six troops. Since its introduction, around 1,280 units have been produced of different variants. On the other hand, the Martyr is a German IFV that entered service with the Bundeswehr in 1971. It was designed to replace the older M113 armored personnel carrier and was named after the German word for Martin, a swift and agile predator. The IFV has been exported to several countries including Greece, Chile, Indonesia, Jordan and the Ukraine and it's been deployed in the Gulf War and the war in Afghanistan. The Martyr has seen significant upgrades over the years including improved armor, weapons and electronics. The latest variant, 1A51, has a crew of three and can transport up to six soldiers. In total, over 2,100 units of different variants have been produced to date. The CV-90 is designed with a sloping front glassless plate. This improves the armor protection against direct hits from anti-tank weapons. The IFV has a high level of protection against mines and IEDs due to its V-shaped underside, which helps to deflect the blast away from the vehicle. To defend against 30 mm rounds, Modular armor plates can be added on the hull. CV-90 has a length of 21.5 feet, a width of 10 feet, and a height of 8.9 feet. It has a low profile in terms of radar, acoustic, and infrared detection, making it harder to spot. Depending on the variant, it weighs around 41 tons. This vehicle's tracks are wide, which improve better mobility and stability on soft and uneven terrain. The IFV also comes with a fire detection and extinguishing system. Plus. The vehicle provides full protection against nuclear, biological, and chemical threats. On the contrary, the Martyr possesses a unique design featuring a boxy hull and sloped front. This design maximizes spacious crew compartment and provides ample room for equipment and weapons. The sloped front of the hull provides increased protection against incoming projectiles and deflects them away. The IFV measures approximately 22.3 feet in length, 10.6 feet width, and 9.8 feet in height making it slightly bigger than the CV-90. A battle-ready martyr weighs around 43 tons. The vehicle is protected by a modular armor made with alloys and ceramic materials. The armor is designed to absorb and deflect 30mm rounds, providing protection against small arms fire, artillery fragments, and mines. The CV-90's sloping front glacius plate and V-shaped underside give it a better armor protection against direct hits, making it a more survivable vehicle. Its wider tracks provide better stability and mobility on soft and uneven terrain, making it a more versatile and reliable combat vehicle. Therefore, in terms of design, the CV-90 is a better IFV for highly intensity battles. The CV-90 is powered by a diesel engine, which generates 1,000 horsepower. Even though the vehicle is heavily armored, its powerful engine can propel it to a maximum speed of 43 miles per hour. The engine is coupled with a heavy-duty transmission that provides efficient power transfer to the wheels. Depending on the terrain and combat load, 
the CV-90 can travel up to 200 miles before needing to refuel. On the other hand, the Martyr is powered by a diesel engine that provides 591 horsepower. The IFV can attain a top speed of 40 miles per hour and has a range of around 323 miles on a full tank of fuel. Its suspension system enables the vehicle to travel quickly over uneven ground, providing excellent cross-country capabilities. The CV-90 has a powerful engine and better top speed, while the Martyr has a higher range, better fuel efficiency, and cross-country capabilities. The CV-90's fire control system and optics are considered some of the best among IFVs. The vehicle features a laser rangefinder, thermal imaging, and digital fire control system. The optics are mounted on a gyro-stabilized platform that allows for accurate firing on the move, even over rough terrain. The CV-90's gunner and commander have independent sights for 360 degrees day and night view. The IFV is also outfitted with hunter-killer capability. The vehicle's eye-fighting computer system enhances the situational awareness of the crew. While the Martyr's fire control system and optics provide the crew with an advanced targeting capability, the system includes a stabilized gunner's sight. The gunner's sight has a laser rangefinder and thermal imaging camera, enabling effective engagement of targets in day and night operations. The commander has a stabilized panoramic sight, which provides 360 degrees view. The commander's sight is also equipped with a laser rangefinder and can be used to engage targets with the vehicle's main gun or coaxial machine gun. The Swedish variant of CV-90 is armed with a 40mm automatic cannon with a range of 2.5 miles. Its armor-piercing rounds are capable of penetrating 60mm thick armor, making it an effective weapon against armored vehicles. This cannon is capable of firing airburst rounds, which can detonate above enemy positions and neutralize enemy troops in the open. The gunner can operate the cannon using a joystick or control handles. The gun is also capable of engaging aerial targets, including helicopters or drones. The IFV is also armed with a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun for close-range defense and suppression of enemy infantry. The CV-90 is equipped with six grenade launchers on either side of its turret. Apart from smoke grenades, these launchers can fire a variety of combat grenades as well. Spike anti-tank guided missiles are set to be included in the future upgrades of the CV-90. On the other hand, the Martyr is armed with a 20mm autocannon as its primary weapon. The cannon has an effective range of up to 1.5 miles against ground targets and up to 1 mile against air targets. The gun is pretty versatile when it comes to firing different rounds, allowing it to take a wide variety of targets. The IFV is armed with anti-tank guided missiles with effective range of 2.5 miles. As a secondary weapon, the Martyr is outfitted with a 7.62mm general purpose machine gun. The vehicle also comes with a 7.62mm rifle. The IFV is equipped with six smoke grenade dischargers capable of producing a smoke screen to block visual and infrared detection. Both IFVs pack quite a punch when it comes to their weaponry. The Swedish IFV takes the lead with a more powerful gun that can reach targets from a greater distance. But hold on, the Martyr counters with an anti-tank missile that matches the CV-90's range. The IFV spices things up with a multi-purpose grenade launchers, giving it even more firepower with different types of grenades. However, the Martyr brings in a whole arsenal of its own, including anti-tank guided missiles and a rifle, which could really come in handy in specific situations. Now that we've gone through the comparisons of both IFVs across all categories and concluded thereon, what is your opinion? Which IFV is more suitable for European war theatre? Sweden's CV-90 or Germany's Martyr? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching and remember to like, share and subscribe.